Hey, so for me, I actually am recording this after making the tutorial. So right now on the screen, we should you should you should see what I already made. It's impossible to make it look as good and easy as in Cycles because of, it lacks a lot of functionality um, in rendering glass. Uh, specifically, yeah, there are some workarounds. Um, like there are some procedural glass shaders which make it look better and make it look actually transparent but overall this is not a not a re realistic uh, approach so my conclusion is we should stick with cycles with this kind of stuff when it comes to rendering glass and uh, similar stuff liquids and glass it is not good enough uh, so far at it so we should stick with cycles and LexCore doesn't have all the procedural capabilities that cycles has so the conclusion is use cycles that's it and uh, let's dive in hello guys i see my easy neon trail animation in blender video was well received and uh, it got a lot of views uh, which is uh, currently it is 16,000, which is a big achievement for me, um, and I'm really glad about this. So, um, I decided to use the same technique to create something else, and actually it was actually su suggested by uh, someone in the comment section, so this is what he asked, which is, how do I make I animate it like a liquid flow into a tube? And I thought it's actually a pretty good idea and it, it inspired me to actually go in Blender and start recording a new tutorial. And uh, this is what we are going to, to do. I'm already in the new file, but you might as well just go to File New and uh, select General there. So, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna make a curve we are going to use the exact same th technique but we are going to make it like a liquid flow into a tube and uh, it's actually a really nice suggestion I really want to try uh, how it's gonna look in the end but so far I have no idea how it's gonna end up looking I just want to make a random curve and add more subdivisions uh, to the uh, spline and then go to shading oh no before we uh, go to shading let's add a depth to it and uh, yeah make sure we have enough segments uh, so it doesn't look too bad so let's go to shading now and uh, the, this is the, easy, the easiest part, which is uh, we, which we already did in the last video, which we are going to just make a shader. Um, so yeah, we go to texture coordinates here. We will separate X, Y, Z, and uh, the X components should go along our curve from zero to one. And if we add more segments, it's just going to it's just going to be from zero to one all along our curve. So this is how it works. Nothing complicated. And these coordinates, and we we are going to feed it into a uh, texture, we, into one dimensional texture, one dimensional noise texture, and this is the W coordinate. Of the noise and we're going to get some random looking noise uh, random colors but we don't we don't care about colors right now all we care about is fact and uh, it's just going to give us our grayscale while it will be noise and if we were to just go use the color ramp uh, this is what it's gonna end up looking but I uh, to make it look like a, an actual liquid, I think we need to use a constant set, uh, constant um, falloff. Yep, 
and uh, right now all we need to do to animate this is uh, to add some water to it one of the ideas to animate it would be just add a random driver uh, based on a frame so we add a new value node and we type in here uh, hashtag frame uh, divided by some value let's say 100 and we plug it into the ad so it's going to flow automatically we, without any keyframes or anything we don't need to do that it's going to work out of the box so this is perfect right and um, now we can use this to create an actual shader so this is just currently this is just a black and white texture uh, from zero to one but we need to use a uh, separate materials uh, we need to use separate materials and the, this is going to be our mix factor so the first material is going to be transparent and the second one is going to be a, um, a some, something like liquid we're going to use principle and I think I want to enable subsurface and the subsurface color is going to be uh, the, color, the color of our liquid and also we are going to tweak the uh, subsurface radius uh, let's maximize it to make it look more uh, trans translucent you know if, if we're bringing our light source uh, here and switch to cycles we should see uh, being very much pretty much like liquid I want to um, replace this with the uh, refraction uh, BSDF and the refraction BSDF is going to have a color and the reason it looks like garbage is because we don't have any HDRI so if we were to go and uh, add an environment texture it's going to look much better you would see the rings flowing along our curve which is uh, exactly what we want so now do we want to create a tube uh, inside of which this uh, substance is going to flow and yes this is super easy we just duplicate this curve and uh, we offset the bevel depth and uh, we also add a uh, solidify modifier and make sure this is properly matching our uh, tube so it perfectly sticks to the liquid um, so if we are to go into render mode all right it's because i'm using the, the experimental build should switch to this table one okay i'm saving once again right now go into materials and removing the uh, in the previous material we had for the liquid and adding the material for the tube and um, this is going to be just pure refraction so let's go to rendered mode let's save before it crashes I want to increase the reference of the glass so it doesn't look um, too CGI. I want it to have some realism. So I decided I'm going to get rid of this HDRI, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the IS camera array from the light path and uh, I'm going to basically say in XRGB uh, if it's a camera array we are going to use a color if it's not we are going to use the uh, HDRI so basically I'm going to just use a plain color so I get all the reflections and refractions from this HDRI but uh, it doesn't make it look like a uh, badly like a bad CGI sort of thing 
So, yeah. And the final thing we want to work on is the lighting. And the lighting is the um, most important part for if you want to render a good shot. So, first of all, we want to place the camera so yeah, we, we have a decent uh, view of the, uh, what's going on in there. But we also have to make sure the illusion doesn't break. Um, so I have to select both of the uh, curve ends at the same time. And I want to make sure this is... Oh no. Yep, and something like this. Let's see, it's in render mode. So, yeah, I don't think this HDRI works well. Let's see if I can change the HDRI. And the other one should look better. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one, but I'm going to increase the strength. Um, so there's a problem here which is I want to increase the strength of this HDRI but not this color so I want to rearrange this thing so this is going to go here instead and this color we, we shall just copy it and paste into an RGB node and uh, we are going to use a mix shader here mix shader and we're going to mix this and that based on its camera ray Okay, there we go. And now we can increase the strength of the edge to right. Let's set it to 4. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad, but I think the lighting has, needs more work. So I want to have somewhat of a rim light around this thing. So I'm going to change the type of the light source to area light and I'm going to choose a uh, disk and I'm going to scale, scale it up and set the strength to something higher and save, of course, never forget to save. Yeah, so that disk actually worked uh, to improve the image but uh, something has to be done to the other side and for that I think I'm going to scale the entire thing and place it somewhere around here and rotate until it fits nicely and increase the strength again let's try other higher values. Let's bring it closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a time lapse now of me making this look a bit better. So this was just a uh, tutorial, but now I'm going to make it an actual artwork, maybe. Um, so, see you guys, that's it for the tutorial part, and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao!